Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, it's 548 on your Wednesday morning. Welcome back. Well, a select few of us got a little rain, uh, some thunderstorms yesterday. Others probably didn't see a drop, Amber. Yeah, I like that. A select few. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say that a select few could see the, the same thing again today and then maybe tomorrow mm -hmm. as well. Select few. There you go. Uh, let's <laughs> okay. take a look at the uh, forecast for today. The Almanac showing our temperatures that are going to be uh, kind of right at average for many of us. Here's the uh, Minot Almanac here. Uh, low 70s is what we're looking at for a forecast high. 74 is that average. And so uh, Bismarck, more of the same. Our temperatures are going to be closer to average in Bismarck today. 72, 76 is that average. 96 is that uh, record. That was set back in 1952. So here's my plan your day forecast. Temperatures are back uh, again. 60s, 70s for many of us. Mostly going to see those 70s this afternoon and we do have a chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms. I generally put just a, a partly sunny sky, partly cloudy sky on here because most of us will get missed. But again, you could see a hit or miss rain shower and you can see here we're seeing that east of 83, mostly a few showers and sprinkles making their way uh, through parts of Burley County. So if you're heading out the door in just a few minutes in Bismarck, don't be surprised if you see maybe a quick little rain shower and it would be uh, probably in the form of some sprinkles, most likely. Now, to, uh, in terms of how what kind of rain we saw yesterday. I do have one outlier and that's Lisbon just over an inch. This was more than likely from a uh, heavy downpour. Uh, you can see here the numbers, um, decent looking numbers here for uh, Streeter, three tenths of an inch, Berthold at under two tenths of an inch as well as well as Hedinger and Mott under a tenth of an inch. Uh, temperatures out the door 47 in Minot, 49 there in Bismarck starting off a little cooler this morning and then highs today again back to uh, around 70 for many if not below 70. So this afternoon we'll see a chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms. The best chance will be down towards south central and even Willis and you got a chance there. This northwesterly flow continues. Uh, don't expect these storms to become severe. They don't have all the ingredients. We watch them anyways. We head into uh, Wednesday night and into Thursday carrying the same uh, chance here. You can see we've got just some hit or miss rain showers that are going to be moving through. Less of a chance on Thursday, but it's still there and Thursday will be a little warmer. In fact, tomorrow we'll actually see some temperatures returning to the 80s, which is something I feel like we haven't seen in a while. In fact, we haven't seen hot temperatures since last Friday. Here are the highs tomorrow, lots of uh, low 80s and in fact some upper 70s down towards the southeast here. So it will start feeling more like summer out there. And then let's head to Friday. Friday's a day you want to be weather aware, especially if you're going to be heading outdoors. And we've got chances for some storms that could become strong to severe. Once again, just like yesterday, central and eastern North Dakota, this time will include parts of Ward County and the northeast. And this will get tailored. We're still 48 hours out, so this will get tailored greatly probably before we get to there. Um, but temperatures over the next few days heating up. Here's the uh, Dickinson three day mid 80s as we head towards Friday. We really heat up for the end of the work week. Same with Williston there. We're back into the mid 80s on Friday. And then as we head through the next seven days, well, it looks like we'll keep the 70s in store for the weekend. We have an active forecast, but it's going to be again another hit or miss chance for some showers and thunderstorms. That's going to be for Friday and even a, a small chance for Sunday, excuse me, Saturday and Sunday. I think better chances Saturday than Sunday. Uh, and then you can see we carried those 70s into the next work week. So temperatures either after today above average or slightly, I would say really around average. So we're not talking about any major dips in the temperatures anytime soon. Pretty nice day to celebrate Father's Day then. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I Father's need to put that Day's on my boy, seven day reminder. Yeah. I have ding, ding. it written down, but I never <laughs> put it on my seven A day. Gentle, uh, important reminder. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, plenty of stories coming up on Good Day Dakota, including this. A warning from